Hello, and welcome to Open Solar. My name's Christian Starkey, and I'm the User Experience Manager for Australia at Open Solar. Today, I'm making this video for the Solar Analytics Dealer Network. It's going to provide tailored support and, and assistance to help you get set up on Open Solar and help you plug in those Solar Analytics features in your proposals. So I'm starting on this My Energy page today. You'll notice that Open Solar is broken into four zones. Project, where you manage the CRM and all your contacts. Studio, where you do your designs. My Energy, which is the customer facing side of the software. And Control, which is where you set up all your system pricing, hardware, etc. The program is completely non-linear, so you can jump back and forth between these sections when you like. So starting on My Energy, you have a few key figures at the top here display on your proposal and you'll notice that these will change as you toggle between the different system options that you're offering your customer. This proposal is fully digital and interactive and in that respect all of the information in this proposal will update as you toggle between the options um, and payment options as well here you can see. Now you notice here we have great exhibited content displayed by Solar Analytics displayed on both of these system options. You have the ability to play videos, look at extra details, and view the spec sheets for this product as well. So you don't have to do any of the work uploading these yourself. And it adds a lot of value to the proposal with this great imagery and branding displayed here from Solar Analytics. So as we scroll down, we can see more about the system performance, the environmental benefits, and various other easy to understand features, and as well as the financial uh, savings and impact at the bottom with the quotation table down here and the opportunity to download this as a PDF. Now on the right hand side when your customer is happy with this proposal they can simply come here and click accept proposal and pay deposit and here view the quotation table again as well as your business T's and C's accepting those with this checkbox and viewing the payment information here and then they can sign off online and confirm and pay for that uh, project that you're delivering to them. Great. So now I've run through this My Energy page on Open Solar. I'm going to show you how to quickly set up your Solar Analytics components in the control zone here. So jump over to Control, and you'll need to come into Other Components here. Now, if you've got a new account in Open Solar, you'll see this list already displayed for you. But if these aren't already in for you, then simply come up to the top right, click on plus create, and search from our database of other components. So if you type in Solar Analytics here, you'll see a range of uh, offerings from Solar Analytics which you can click on. And then you can quickly uh, modify the cost per unit of that component and put in the warranties if necessary, and then hit save here. You'll then be brought back to this list where I am here and you can view your components in this active list as well as the cost that you've attached to those components as well here. Great, okay we'll jump back into the project zone now and I'll guide you through creating a new project in OpenSolar. So if we come up to the top right and click on plus new project, enter in our address here, for this one I'll just use uh, the same address that I've used for this last project as an example. You can put in some contact information here um, as well as their email and phone numbers and then go through and click on create and design. This takes you straight into this studio page here where we start doing our panel layouts. So I'll just zoom in here a little bit to get a good idea of this roof facet that we're working with and you can click on this button here to choose your panel type from this select button here and then choosing from your active list of panels. Take this REC one as an example here and then I'll go ahead and click on plus panel group and using solid touch just dragging along the roof like so and adding in additional panels in the surrounding white boxes there you can see. You can also click on them again just to delete them simply like that or add them back again. Over on the left here you have the panel options uh, and while this is selected with this yellow box around it you can choose such as this move horizontal button lets you move it around that roof facet like so 
Um, and you can also select various other things like adjusting the slope of the panel, the azimuth, um, the orientation, and various other things. So um, do have a little play around with those panel options in the left hand toolbar once your panel array has been selected. Now you can just click out anywhere else on the map to get out of those panel options now. And we'll just go in and add an inverter here. Just click on plus inverter and then select the inverter type once again from your active list or you can uh, choose from our uh, inverter database up on the top right here. You'll be able to put in the manufacturer name or the code of the inverter and you can search one there and then it will be popped into your active list. Or feel free to come down here and create an inverter with this button uh, like so or else just uh, email us at support at opensolar.com if you need any uh, hardware added in um, to the software for you. Right, so we've got our inverter in now. I will now add in uh, the solar analytics components within this other component section. So if I click plus other component here and then select, we can view those other components in this area here. And since this system is only 6.6 .6 kilowatts, we want to choose the lifetime subscription for a system that's under 15 kilowatts, so this small size one here. And we also want to choose that uh, smart monitor uh, with 6 CT. So I'll go ahead and choose this one. Now, incorporating, incorporating solar analytics, uh, third-party monitoring in your proposals reveals your commitment to service and dependability. Uh, and because solar analytics can support anything AC, you can enjoy the simplicity of monitoring your whole fleet on the one dashboard. For that reason, it's recommended that you quote it in all your jobs. To add solar analytics uh, to your proposals, like I've shown you, just come into this other component section and then select the other component that you want to use. So we've already used a smart monitor. Now I'll go in and select again. So we now want to select the subscription type. Here we can see the choice of an annual subscription or the great lifetime uh, value lifetime offer. For systems up to 15 kilowatts, the lifetime offer is a once-off fee of $250. And when you sell a lifetime offer, you may be eligible for a rebate from Solar Analytics. And the lifetime offer comes with a $500 savings from Solar guarantee for your customer. So I'll select this uh, small subscription size lifetime offer now, and we'll close this one. So now the Solar Analytics can, components have been applied in here. I can come up and uh, uh, choose to duplicate this system and create another system option for our customer. And perhaps for this one we will leave the solar analytics components in as we want to sell it on both of our jobs and we can just change the panel type here. Um, searching from our database again or else just taking one of the default ones here that I've got I'll use this LG panel. And it looks like it might just impede that roof there so I'm just going to move them down a little bit. And here we go. So we've got a 6.3 and a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system. Great. You can also choose the mapping types in this bottom left corner here and select the, the mapping drop down. And we also have the option to upgrade to a near map on Open Solar account if you want to access that premium aerial imagery, which would be really handy for your proposals, especially in this time of uh, social distancing. Great, so now uh, I've covered the studio zone. I'll jump back into my energy and we can have a quick look at our uh, new proposal. We've got our little cover page message that pops up here which is fully customizable in that control section within your proposal template. And great, so we've got our 6.6 .6 kilowatt system and our 6.27 uh, kilowatt system there. Both of them including the solar analytics components as you can see here. Awesome. They're the basics to designing and uh, getting your first proposal sorted out. Now we'll jump into the control zone here uh, and I'll run you a, a brief uh, overview of the setup for Open Solar. So you come into the company area and in here you can access your business info. Just put in uh, core business details in here as well as your color highlight that you want to appear throughout your My Energy proposal. You can put in about us content from your website and upload your logo at the bottom here and then hit save in the bottom right. Always remember to click save as you're making progress through this control zone.
You can add in team members here by coming up and clicking on plus create and giving them admin access will allow them to access this control zone here. For pricing and payments, you can set that up within this area in system pricing. I've got a few schemes set up here and you can create more just by coming into this create new scheme and choosing from our drop down of pricing schemes here, such as markup or a price for what, whatever you like. So if we did a markup one, we can just put in the percentage there and the tax, it's very straightforward. And payment options can be set up in this tab just below. If we create a payment option here, perhaps we want to just do a cash payment option as an example, title it test. And if we auto apply this, it's going to apply to all of our future projects. Couldn't put in a deposit amount here, so when the customer checks out, they'll pay a 10% deposit with this cash payment type. Um, and then hit save at the bottom here. Costing information can be entered in this area. So if you go in and edit your default uh, cost preset, you can enter in uh, various costs here, such as BOS and labor and things like that on a per system, per panel and per watt basis. You can also put in acquisition and fulfillment costs in this area as well, and other costs that, that may be necessary for the project in this area. Now within design and hardware, just like I showed you before, um, setting up your other components in solar analytics, the same process applies to setting up your modules, inverters and batteries. You just come up and click on plus create, search for the manufacturer type and possibly the wattage of that panel and then choose that panel and enter the cost of it and hit save and it will apply to this active list here so that when you're quickly designing a studio, you can access it um, really quickly and get it done in that proposal. Same process for inverters and batteries there. Now finally, just within this purchase experience area, you can uh, modify your proposal templates by coming in here and creating a proposal template first, then editing it to change around the settings there. <clears throat> and finally, just within other here, you can uh, set up um, some other things like your STC incentives um, and other integrations you can explore there as well. Click on this support button down the bottom right here. You can get access to our help center, which is full of great training videos to help you get set up as well as other articles will answer a lot of your questions. You also have the option to book a call with an expert on OpenSolar or seek professional assistance uh, through SunWiz on OpenSolar. We have a great range of offerings. As you can see here, the SunWiz on OpenSolar website. So you can outsource some of your OpenSolar work to them and they'll get those jobs done for you. So do check out SunWiz on OpenSolar. Great. Thanks for tuning into this video. I hope it was helpful for helping you get uh, set up on Open Solar. And thanks again to our partner, Solar Analytics, um, for joining us on board. And I hope to see you guys soon.